Hello and welcome to The Psychology Nexus, where we explore the fascinating world of psychology and human behaviour. In this episode, I talk about the internal working model of attachment. The internal working model of attachment develops during the second year of life, once a child becomes able to think with symbols. It is a mental representation of the self, the attachment figure and the relationship. It has cognitive and emotional components and influences an individual's thoughts, feelings and behaviours, especially in reciprocal relationships. This representation of attachment develops from the child's experiences of their attachment figure's sensitivity, acceptance, cooperation and accessibility. Over time, the internal working model becomes generalised to other relationships. It plays a part in shaping the emerging personality. This internal representation of attachment reconciles old brain emotions and new brain thoughts. The old or midbrain is almost completely developed at birth. It deals with emotions, motives and long-term memory. It is where we are social relationship seeking creatures. The new brain or neocortex deals with self-control, planning, fluid intelligence and working memory. The number of connections continues to expand after birth through developmental influences. Information about relationships that pass between these old and new parts of the brain is made sense of through references to memories of previous relationships that have been built up in earlier encounters. The message from a securely attached child to their attachment figure is, I trust you, you support me, the relationship is a secure base for me to explore the world. The message from a child who is insecure and avoidant is, I'll manage alone. The message from a child who is insecure and ambivalent is, I want support, but I'm angry with you. And the message from a disorganised child is, I fear you, but I cannot tolerate separation. It is behaviours that flow from the different representations of attachment that a child's attachment style is expressed. Do you recognise your child? A secure attachment is a tremendous advantage. Children with insecure attachments need consistency and empathic, knowledgeable help and support to manage relationships. I hope you have found this useful. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Your support is really appreciated.